Oh, so I guess that wasn't Jordan Sparks. <laughs> All right, we'll move on. I'm now joined by two nominees uh, for the Prime Minister's National Youth Awards, nominated in the category of nation building, uh, the former Kingston College uh, head boy, Chad Rattry, and uh, Talia Soares, who is nominated in the category of arts and culture. Um, Talia, uh, an attorney, and Chad will be an attorney. <laughs> in about four years. Yes. Oh, so. Yes, we should see the Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Chad, tell me about the nomination. You know who nominates you? Somebody has to nominate you or they just said, I like that guy, I could nominate him. Yes, yeah, so uh, you have a form, you have a sign-up form, which is uh, on the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information webpage, and somebody has to nominate you. And after they nominate you, you fill out a form, you submit this supporting documents and the various evidence of what you have done over the years. And then that is brought to the committee, you do interviews, and then um, you're shortlisted. Um, for the awards, and then on the night, which is like Grammy style, that is when you find out. <laughs> you that one so, you, so you don't know if, if it's you yet. No, we don't. Um, <laughs> you, you first served at the age of 15 at the National Secondary Students Council. Yes. Um, Kingston College head boy, I said that, Students Council President, National Youth Parliamentarian for East Rural St. Andrew, Deputy Youth Mayor of Kingston and St. Andrew, founder and chairman of the Student Safety on the Streets Initiative, and president of the Papine Wesleyan Holiness Church youth ministry, um, 18 C-Sec and CAPE subjects. Whew. Wow, right? <laughs> he placed fourth in Quite the island <laughs> in Jamaica in CAPE, management of business examination. Uh, wow. And in May this year, you helped uh, a, a number of young people, 3, about 3,000 mm -hmm. um, in their CAPE Caribbean studies. Where did, awesome. that, where did all of this volunteering, um, where did all of this come from? Well, you know, never it has, let me just first start off by saying it has been a long amount of years in yeah. service. It has been what, four years from the next year to be my fifth anniversary. And it all started from the passion that I had to serve at the young age of 15. And throughout the years, um, I would have been exposed to various opportunities. And because of that, you know, I had positions, I had titles, and I ensured that at the end of the day, that the aim and the objective was is the impact at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. And yet that is what you can see any, anywhere or any organization I've worked in or would have volunteered my time in, you would have seen that I have dedicated time and service. And that, that's what covers nation building. Nation building, Because yes. you're helping a That's the category I'm nominated yeah. for. All right. Yes. So, Ms. Talisno. Yes. <laughs> attorney at law, journalist, um, entertainment and lifestyle content she focuses on. She's worked with us for a while as a presenter. Yes. Um, um, intense. Yes. Um, losing it. Losing she, it, yes. She now works on Fame. Fame FM. Uh, yes. Where she does news and keeps listeners right. informed. Right, and I fill in for everybody when anybody's <laughs> <Yes>. not here. <laughs> for, works at the first black Canadian television station, FIBA yes. TV. Right. Um, they said she's used her platform to assist, encourage, and motivate youth development through a number of yes. programs and initi initiatives, um, including the Bloom Foundation for Education. We inspire our girls to be strong women. Yes. Every... Mickle Foundation the and USA Educators. The as well. Who is that, by the way? That's me. <laughs> at 11. <laughs> you know, go sit down. <laughs> so at, at, at 11, um, when I was asked That's the question awesome. where this all started from, I, my mom has videos of me, and this is just one example of when I was actually 11. It was January 1 at 12 o'clock. And of course, I really can't go anywhere or do much, but I decided to have my own telecast. Listen, the ball dropped in my living room, <laughs> so I'm telling you all about it. <laughs> and um, when I look back at those videos, I said, probably this is where it all started from, okay. without me even knowing. And this, was, this has been my purpose. It has been my passion all along. And it's just looking back that I say, whoa, this is where it all started. And then uh, after that, I started writing for the Jamaica Observer Teenage Club at 12, um, where we'd go and we'd cover a number of events, and not only events, but uh, interesting places that persons can go. You know those hidden gems in Jamaica, yeah, um, teen entrepreneurs. It was just teen-focused and teen-based because I thought that if I wanted to pursue media in any aspect at all, I thought that it was important for me to learn how to write. Yeah. Um, so I actually started writing at 12, for the Jamaica Observer Teenage Club. And then throughout the years, I've done um, a lot of work in terms of charity. Uh, the USAID is one example yeah. where it is leading through reading, where the aim was to 
uh, assist 100 million students to be able to read at grade level um, within the, the year. And we visited a number of schools within St. Elizabeth and Mandeville, Manchester, uh, throughout their reading days, their literacy days, to assist them you know, with, with the development of their program. Um, the We Inspire Our Girls was another example, and I think that initiative actually touched me. We went to a number of, um, of high schools, and we just spoke to the girls about their development, about our story, and just to encourage them how to just get by. Yeah. So and I'm using my platform to assist youth as always has been something that has been very important for me. I mean, I've done a number of work as well, a lot of work actually, with the Danny Williams School for the Deaf through the Bloom Foundation okay. for Education, okay. and that assists uh, students with special needs. All right. So, um, yeah. The only thing, the only <laughs> thing you both have in common is on enough. <laughs> <laughs> and and with all that's been said, and I'm sure you both will correct me, I don't see a link to law. Law? Well, actually, I do Apart practice from, law. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying from, from the things that you have done, right. it, it wouldn't suggest that you are going to be a lawyer. Oh, no, yeah. You know, funny enough. You understand? Yeah, yeah that's true. And it's the same thing with you. So I want to end up in you law. You know, funny enough, I think law is in everything. Law is actually the base. As I said, everything. I'm sure you would correct me. <laughs> yes. It's almost, as you can see, it, it is in everything and it can actually help to impact persons' lives positively right. as well. You know? Um, when persons think of law and legal problems and troubles, they say, geez, it's problems. Yeah. But at the end of the day, helping persons to resolve these problems and uh, come out successful is what actually I think prob probably is Both the baseline. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So why law with you, Chad? Well, you know, Apart I, from your enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's not just about being enough. It's just that, you know, law is all this. I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, you know, so we're good, man. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But yeah, so I would have had a passion for quite some years now that I wanted to pursue law. And I think that it can be the next avenue where I can even level up the service that I've done so far. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I should have asked this at the top before I get to my next question. How does this make you feel to be nominated for? Um, for, for this. I should have asked that. It feels awesome, to be <laughs> honest with you, um, to know that, you know, your work is appreciated, to know that, you know, you're being recognized, you know, it's a truly fulfilling um, feeling. Yeah. I was a little shocked. I was like, when I got the call, I was like, what? And I didn't know who was on the phone. And I was like, Oh, I'm sorry. Composure is key. Well, that, <laughs> that alone should I make you don't get it. No, no, that alone should I, I make like, you don't. What? This is exciting. <laughs> and you don't get it yet. So, right. Can you imagine if them never? Woo, we can't hold her. <laughs> um, in, a, in a very serious way, Chad, uh, we don't have a whole lot of time. Um, tell the youngsters. You have about thirty seconds. Um, you know, you. Kids and young people get a hard time. I've coached, I've coached them for, for years, and some people think they're just bad at them this, but they're under as much pressure as all of us. But it seems like every now and again you find a gem, you both. Yes. Why? Um, what, what have you done? What, what, what kind of leadership in your life? Why, why are you Chad? Well, I'm Chad because... I think based on the foundation I would have gotten over the years, uh, you know, be, having a strong and supportive family, having, uh, you know, direct connection with, you know, different institutions I would have worked on serving. And, and, you know, I've been so inspired by so many different stories of young people. And t I just want to respond to that, to just say that the majority of our youth in Jamaica, it's, they're not, nothing is wrong with them. They're doing good. You have youth that are uh, in communities, in parishes that are working. Because there are so many nominees. We're not just only two. There are so many nominees yeah. who have been nominated across the different right. okay. um, the categories. categories and so on. Tell so you want, phenomenal. Yeah, tell you, I want to ask you the same question. We're going to have an interview in a little while about kids smoking weed at school. Okay. Um, and, and, and whether they like it or not. I was one of those kids who kind of lean up. But importantly, I had a family that every time I lean up, then straighten me back. back up. Yeah, I'm not certain these kids have that. So yeah. give, them a, give them a message here. Um, give them a message. I think it's important to always remain humble, um, to always not be afraid, or to, to, to always take criticism. You know, it's not everyone... It, not everyone who, who speaks to you is trying to hurt you and harm you. Sometimes they're just trying to lead you. In, in a different path or in a better path because they've been there before and they've done that already. Yeah, so I think that it's important to listen sometimes, most times. Um, it's always important to try 
and to never be afraid to pursue what sets your soul on fire, what, what sparks that fire within you and what truly makes you happy. Never ever be afraid to try because sometimes the question that you ask the most persons can tell you is no. Right. So don't be afraid to try, be true, be true to yourself. Know what it is that you actually like and what actually, what, what will make you wake up at two o'clock in the morning without you saying, geez, like, not again. Yeah, but always pursue that passion, listen, and finally, it is always important to have somebody in your corner, somebody who you trust, and somebody who believes in you just as much as you believe in yourself. All right. I'm yeah. proud of you both. Sorry, before you go, never, I just want to big up the Ministry of Education, you information. All right, and also boss. to the Prime Minister um, <laughs> for having the awards on Saturday. So, Minister Terrellong, the team, Simone, uh, Mrs. Sergio, Pinto, Paris. Oh, gosh, there are so many phenomenal people within the youth division at the Ministry. Right. Just want to yes. say a special big up to them and a special big up to the young people in Jamaica. That's right. right. I'm right. Miguel, I am just... <laughs> 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 we don't know time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you both. I'm proud of you both. And I pray that whether you win it or not, it's a fantastic um, acknowledgement for what you do. Yes, so, thank you. Thanks so much. You and, and, and good luck to you both. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Thank Suarez you. and Chad Rattray, nominees for the Prime Minister's National Youth Award. Apparently, I never get it because them think I'm not a youth. <laughs> youth at heart. But I am a youth. Right? <laughs> Prime Minister, somebody nominate them. So you're not all people are one, eh? Nominate never mind. Thank Please. you very much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, when we get back from the break, we'll hear from the NCDA about the misuse of marijuana in schools. Stay with us, please. So come.